इज योर फ्रेंड सरवान खटक एंड टूडे इन इंट्रोडक्शन टू द पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दी एजेक्टिव गाइज द एजेक्टिव इज द थर्ड द थर्ड टॉपिक ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू द पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच बिफोर एजेक्टिव वी हैव डिस्कस नाउन एंड प्रोनाउंस आई होप दैट यू वुड हैव सीन दोज टू वीडियोज अबाउट नाउन एंड प्रोनाउंस बट इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन दोज वीडियोज दैन द लिंक्स ऑफ दोज टू वीडियोज आर डाउन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू शुड गो and click the links and first watch those two videos because first you will understand what is a noun and then you will understand what's pronoun and after understanding noun and pronoun you will be able to understand what's an adjective why because adjective is directly related to noun and pronouns if you don't know what is a noun if you don't know what's a pronoun you will never be able to understand what's an adjective so if you have seen those videos and you know very well that what is noun and what's pronoun then let's get started and get the introduction to to the adjective first we will take a simple definition of adjective there are two types of definitions the first definition i call the first definition official definition that is found in the in the grammatical means grammatical definition official means grammatical definition means grammatical definitions are the definitions which are found in the books sometime i have observed that the students are unable to understand that words a thing with the help of that uh, that definition that's why i try to simplify uh, the, the, the the definition of these the parts of speech and different and uh, like different topics of uh, english language so what is the grammatical definition of adjective adjective is a word that modifies or describes a noun or pronoun adjective is a word that modifies or describes a noun or pronoun this is the grammatical definition but i am giving you another simple definition to understand this definition is the best what is an uh, adjective adjective is a word that adds something to the meaning of a noun or pronoun means in simple words adjective is a word that gives us some extra information about a noun or pronoun adjective is a word that gives us some extra information in the same way if you want to give some extra information about a noun or pronoun to someone we will use adjectives let's try to understand what is adjective and how we use it the first thing the first common thing that you should keep in your mind that this is written adjective adjective but unfortunately in english it is not pronounced adjective it's pronounced adjective means here d is silent so you should try to avoid pronouncing d but even if you pronounce it it will not make any big difference it will be incorrect but it will not make any difference the basic thing is that you must know what is adjective and how to use it we have here some examples and with the help of these examples we will try to understand what's an adjective the first example is you are intelligent now you are talking to someone and you say you are intelligent you can see that you have used here a pronoun okay this is a pronoun now you want to provide extra information you uh, about that person that uh, that pronoun so if you want to provide extra information about this pronoun what you will do you will use a word intelligent so you have used a word intelligent so this word intelligent has given some extra information to the listener about this pronoun so it means as this word has provided some extra information about a pronoun we will call this word an adjective why because adjective is a word that gives some extra information about a noun or pronoun so intelligent has given some extra information about this pronoun okay otherwise you can say you are a man you are a boy you are a teacher what's over but there is no extra information but if we say you are intelligent you are an intelligent teacher for example so it means that we are using the word intelligent to provide some extra information about that person let's take the second example we have a black car for example i say we have a car when i say we have a car so here you can see that i have used a noun this is a noun the name of any person place thing etc is called a noun so car is a noun you know very well now when i say we have a car so you have just got this information that we have a car but i want to 
provide some extra information about that car about this noun so if i want to provide you if i want to give you some extra information about car what i will do i will use a word to provide to give you extra information about that car so what i have done you can see here i have used a word black hair so when i have used the word black hair by this word you have learned that what color the car is the car is black so as this word has told something about car it means this is an adjective what is adjective the word that provides some extra information about about a noun or pronoun third example they will buy camels they will buy camels okay camels now camels name of animals it means noun very clear now you want to provide extra information to the person to the listener you want to tell him something extra about camels which are nouns so what you will do what you have done you have used here a word two camels they will buy two camels they will buy two camels so when you have used when you use the word two so the word two provides some extra information to the listener about camels about nouns so as this word has provided some extra information about a noun it means this is an adjective what is adjective a word that provides some extra information about a noun that gives extra information about a noun this is a simple definition okay alicia likes tea okay ji alicia likes tea now t is a noun you can test it now you want to provide some extra information about the tea that what kind of tea she likes there are different kinds of tea you know very well there uh, so now you want to tell the listener that what kind of what type of tea alicia likes you tell them that alicia likes hot tea what type of tea she likes she likes hot tea so by using this word hot here you have provided you have given extra information about t which is a noun so the word that uh, gives some extra information about a noun is called adjective the fifth example umar was wearing shoes umar was wearing shoes okay he was playing and he was wearing shoes other uh, other boys were playing barefooted but umar was wearing uh wearing uh, wearing shoes now shoes obviously shoes the word shoes is a noun you know very well okay the name of something now you want to provide extra information about the shoes that what type of shoes they are you are telling that nice shoes umar was wearing nice shoes he was wearing nice shoes so the word nice has added something to the meaning of shoes it means that the word nice is adding something to the meaning of a noun so it will be called an adjective okay ji sixth example she bought clothes she bought clothes she bought clothes okay ji clothes other girls were also buying clothes okay but now the, the the clothes which were bought by her were were different from others what type of clothes they were they were expensive clothes clothes is a noun it's very easy so by using expensive you has you have provided some extra information about clothes so this word expensive has become adjective why because it's providing extra information about clothes let's take the third example i want to marry an old and rich man i now a girl says that i want to marry an old and rich man now obviously she will marry a man so man has become a noun it's the name of a person now she is telling you that what kind of man she wants or she likes what kind of man old and rich so these two words old and rich are telling us something extra about the man so rich has told us something extra more about man and in the same way old is providing us extra information man about the man that what kind of man she wants what kind of man she wants she wants an old 
and rich man. So these two words are providing extra information about the man. It means that adjective, this is adjective. Or is adjective and rich is also adjective. Why? Because these both words are providing extra information. And the last one, he is clever. He is a person obviously. This is a pronoun. Now we are providing some extra information about he, which is a which is a pronoun. He is clever. Whatever person he is, he is clever. So this word clever has provided extra information about he by listening to this word we have learned we have come to know that what type of person he is he is clever so this word clever is providing extra information about he which is a pronoun it means that this will be called an adjective so guys what we have learned from these ad examples that adjective is a word actually that provides us some extra information about a noun or pronoun means we use when we want to tell someone when we want to provide give some extra information about a noun to someone then we use an adjective to provide extra information i see you in the next video with a new topic allah hafiz